All right, guys, so today I'm going to show you exactly how I go about finding and registering a domain name. So when people start off with getting websites, the biggest thing that they run into is I don't have a name for my website. I don't know exactly how to find a good name. I don't know how to find, you know, all the good, do all the good domain names are taken, and uh, that's not really the case. You can still find a lot of good domain names um, around your keyword terms, around your name, around the brand that you want to build. You just have to know how to look for them. So I want to share with you guys two tools that I use uh, to basically go find and register all the domains that I do. And you have to be careful because uh, this actually gets pretty addicting. And if you're like me, then you start uh, buying <laughs> all sorts of domain names left and right um, and not using for them and having to come back in a year and saying, oh, I just spent $10 a year on that terrible, terrible idea. So uh, these are the two, you, two tools that I use. Uh, the first one's called Bust a Name. You can find it at bustaname.com. I'll put a link in the video. But basically, there's two features on Bust a Name that you can use. The first one's a quick domain check. Basically, you type in here whatever you want, and it'll tell you if the .com, the .net, or .org is available. So, for example, say I'm looking for not my name, Joel Runyon. I'll type it in. JoelRunyon.com, .net, and .org are taken. It'll tell me that right away. It show, shows up in red uh, because I own all of them. But let's say I want to get into, I'm going to branch out and possibly HQ is going into knitting. So I want to get joelrunyonknitting.com. Those are available. Yay. Um, so I can go ahead and buy it directly there. So that's a, that's a really, really fast way to do a quick domain check. Um, if you have a specific domain in mind that you want to, that you want to buy. Uh, the other feature on Bust a Name that you can get is basically uh, combining different words. Um, in order to form a domain name. So a lot of people have two words that they want to put together in some way, shape, or form, or two two concepts that they want to merge into one name. And this will help you do that. So say I want to put Joel and Runyon and then Fitness, um, Running, and a couple other things. So you basically put a list of words that you want to um, you know, have in your URL. And it will give you these combinations of different uh, domains that are available with those words that you've given it. Uh, the other thing you can do here is you can group them together. Say I want to have my name as one group and uh, activities as another group. So anything that's, you know, Fitness Joel, Fitness Runyon, Runyon Fitness, um, it'll combine anything from group one with anything from group two. And it keeps these as kind of synonyms. So uh, that's a really good way to kind of just check immediately, um, hey, you know, are any of these domains available? What do I want to start with? And how do I get started? The second tool I use is called leandomainsearch.com. It's uh, really, really, really straightforward. Basically, if you go here to the website, you type in the word that you want to you want to look for. Say I type my name, Joel Runyon, and it'll give me back um, all these different combinations and an annotations on my name that are really common, either with your you know your company or with uh, you know different. URLs that may be available. So basically, uh, you can go through here and look at all these. These are all primarily .com. So uh, you can go through here. You know, um, it, it works sometimes with names. If I want to do it with uh, Impossible, I'll get a bunch of different uh, combinations with um, Impossible as well. So uh, basically, here I, I pick one out. Impossible Talk, whatever. It's available. The Twitter Twitter handle is available. I can either register it with uh, GoDaddy or Namecheap or whatever I want. Uh, Lean Domain Search also has a really cool tool they just came out with called Brandable. Basically, what this does is give you it takes two words and mushes them together into sort of like a, a pseudo word. It's not a real word, but it could pass as one, and it works really well for branding. You see a lot of startups coming out with these words that aren't really words, but they kind of sound like words, and they work really well for branding yourself and kind of building up your own base. Um, some of these are really great, some of these are really terrible. So you kind of have to sift through these, um, but they're done a lot on phonetics and um, interesting combinations of sounds with words. So um, one of the ones I saw here that I really liked was um, Blackjack, and it's spelled Blackjack with a, with a Q instead of a CK. Um, so another one of these is um, like hatchback here, um, hatchback or warlock. They they use that same substitution, so the Q for the C C K, and it actually 
kind of an interesting way to think about it. So say I want to buy hatchback.com. I click on this um, and I can register with, um, a lot of times it'll show up, the default will show up as GoDaddy. Um, I prefer to use Namecheap. I think GoDaddy uh, is kind of a sleazy little organization. They try to upsell you at every corner and uh, sell you a lot of services that you honestly don't need. So I register all of my domains with Namecheap. The ones I don't have on Namecheap, I'm moving to Namecheap just because uh, they're really they're really simple and they're really straightforward. So if I want to go register this with Namecheap, it'll redirect me to their site. And it'll show me that hatchback.com is available. So I'll basically add it to cart. And I'll add, my, add it to cart. Now with Namecheap, you get a free who is guard. Basically, it's a privacy thing, so people can't look up your information online. Um, and the other thing that you want to do, and this has already been added, but uh, anytime you buy anything Namecheap, go to a website called namecheapcoupons.com. And every single month, they do this every single month, they'll give you a, a new .com, .net, .org, uh, discount and so they show they post it up here every single month and this month is TLD sale and so uh, basically you add that to your coupon code and you save about a dollar off your domain it might not sound like much but if you do this a lot like some people that will stay nameless uh, it starts to add up so check that out you can go to namecheapcoupons.com and get a, a dollar or two off all of your domain purchases so that's how you basically go about finding uh, if domains are available and registering a, a new brand, a new domain name uh, with Namecheap. Next time we're going to talk about hosting and how to get your actual website set up. But uh, go ahead, purchase your domain, and uh, we'll see you on the next video.